This is Mark Heilman. I'm Dan Kenny. And we are a part of Suicide Silence. And you're watching ESP TV. I am using a Japanese version of the signature series that I had, so it's white with black flames. I am also playing a five-string surveyor and a four-string surveyor uh, drop D. The ESP stuff is always, uh, you know, never let me down so far. I have a, a surveyor, this actual very uh, same model, but drop D that I use for uh, the song called uh, Die by the Sword. And then I have another one, which is a five string that I use for the song uh, Fallen World. Yeah, it's pretty low and the neck is very uh, easy to play with. So, uh, so it's, it's quite pleasant to have these guitars, but the main one remains the, the white one with the black thing. I like the shape and I like the neck uh, on this uh, B-Series and the sound is, is definitely good. When I first joined ESP, you guys asked me uh, what, what sort of neck I wanted because I'm a guitar player originally uh, and I wanted something like close to a guitar neck because I didn't feel confident enough. But uh, over the years after playing uh, bass, I feel more like more and more comfy with that sort of neck. With the B-Series, when I look at it, it looks like a guitar neck to me and it feels like a guitar neck, just for bass strings obviously, but uh, it, it's very comfy for me, for my little fingers. But like I said, on the Surveyor, which is more of a bass neck, which is like wider, at the same time it's still flat and uh, I'm getting more and more confident with it. It's different, but I like both aspects of the instrument that is bass. The reaction um, towards the new albums, like people really like it a lot. This one is my favorite. I took part in the production. I play guitar on the album. Uh, I do actually uh, a few solos as well. So you've got my name written, uh, which is uh, quite pleasant. You can hear the bass, I'm doing guitar. So I spent a lot of time on it. So it means a lot to me. The fans like Mark, the new singer, definitely a lot. He's good on stage, he has a nice personality, you know, he's still young and, and fresh and innocent. We've been away for so long, so um, with the new singer, we feel this uh, motivation. It's fresh and so we need to keep this vibe, this energy, so we're gonna start writing new stuff. We wrote most of the new material uh, before Mark joined the band. So we had 90% of the, of the songs uh, written, but as soon as he joined the band, then we all jammed. We, we practiced, the, rehearsed the song all together to see what was better with his voice. And uh, you know, he came up with a few ideas as well. He's definitely the new guy. He brought some fresh blood and some little ideas, but we didn't have the time to really sit down with him. And I guess people would hear his influences like definitely on the next album. How to get uh, comfortable with the bass. Uh, it's good if you're not on your own, if you have a band uh, and if you have a, a drummer, uh, you need to lock, lock up with the bass drum. That's very important. You might not realize that a bass is really, really important in the band because like people usually pay attention to the guitar. I, I do the same. Uh, what's really important is like a, a good sense of rhythm. It doesn't matter to to do that, I mean, that's that's nice, but what is important is like really to have the, the rhythm. So work on your, uh, with a metronome and just do a lot of, you know, the kind of uh, cowboys from hell, that sort of stuff or uh, extreme, you know, th those bands like very uh, rhythmical, uh, that, that's very, very important. So my advice is just like with a metronome and uh, with your friend, the drummer, if you have a friend and he's a drummer. 